So we're here, we're here at TwitchCon, and I can't wear my fursuit, because obviously there's mask laws in Nevada. So we're at the dealer's den slash artist alley doing our usual thing, and uh, that's why I'm a little plushy scrimblow thing right now. So let's walk around and check out what kind of cool stuff there is. They actually have like glass blown things and wow, lots of cool art. Hopefully the uh, rolling shutter isn't too bad. I'm on my cell phone right now because they uh, did not let me take my fursuit in or my camera bag. So I'm literally on cell phone right now. But we will take a look at every cool thing that we can. So this artist alley is kind of in a checkerboard pattern. So if we kind of snake through, we can see everything, basically. There's actually stuff over there. So let's move. And you can hear there's a lot of crazy panels and stuff going on. Guess I probably should have started from here. Oh my god, there's even more! <laughs> I can't believe how much of their, like, stuff there is! Lots of great artist alley things. Ah, uh, DIY womb tattoos, you can, you can get one of those if that's what you're interested. So yeah, we are gonna check out the entire artist alley, I didn't realize there was a thing here. Ooh, Harley Quinn. So, not a lot of cosplayers, I've noticed, but it feels like... Uh, it's because of the mask laws, if anything else. I talked to a bunch of other fursuiters and furries, but unfortunately I couldn't find any furries. And I guess uh, the reason why is because mask laws in Vegas uh, aren't very kind to fursuiters. Wow. I should have planned this a little better, considering there's just so much going on. But I'm tall, which is definitely an advantage. Oh, sorry. Lots of cool stuff this year. Well, what am I saying this year? This is the first time I've actually been here. Oh, they have a croc store. Who wants to get some crocs? All right, so we're back at where we were with the custom womb tattoos, I guess. You know, I wish I could use the 360 camera here, but because I can't wear my fursuit, I can't use the 360 camera. So that's actually why we aren't viewing this in 360 this time around. I should have complained to Twitch and been like, hey, I gotta wear my fursuit, that's why I moved to YouTube. <laughs> and who knows if my commentary is even coming through, but uh, I don't know. This is definitely my cell phone, it's not my usual camera rig, so if it's shaky or not as good, that's why. Do, 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 do. Doing a walkthrough. I love going upstream. So this is actually kind of a good test, because I'm using a Pixel 6 Pro. I don't know if the active stabilization is as good as anything else, but we'll find out. So we already walked past this end, so we will go over here. It kind of makes sense going this way. Oh man, there, there was like first seater stuff there. I kind of want to check that out. Look how cute they are. Oh, 
So fun fact, you can't stream in the artist alley, but I'm not streaming, so. Oh cool, there's actual like fursuit stuff here. That is awesome. So in case you uh, want to get a fursuit at TwitchCon, you can get one here. And then not wear it, because they won't let you wear your fursuit at TwitchCon. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I should try doing this on like TikTok Live someday or something. really like the setup compared to furry conventions these artist alley booths are extremely spacious and it feels like there's a lot more to see there's a lot more merch of course twitchcon has what several hundred thousand people coming so it makes sense that there is a lot lot more room oh man the autofocus is uh definitely not having fun with that place hello please focus Wow, I don't know what happened there, but the autofocus hated that. I wonder if that's like a, some sort of light-based ECM or something that just jams cameras. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? Probably not. I think we already went on this side, so we are going to try moving this way because there's a giant clot. Man, we're not even halfway through and it's already eight minutes. So much to see. So you can get emote commissions as well, that's kind of cool. Huh. Those are some cool emotes. Let's see if anything catches our eye, huh? Let me know in the comments if there's anything you would want to buy from any of these wonderful dealers. I'm actually surprised how many furry or like furry adjacent dealers there are. I think that's extremely cool. And that place looks a little too crowded, so we're gonna move on over here. I'm already missing my stabilizer already, honestly. <laughs> Let's actually zoom this out even further. That'll probably be a better view, won't it? Get the wide angle out. In case you're wondering how big TwitchCon is, how about we check out the map? That's pretty big. There's exhibitors, streamer station, meet and greet. Wow. So if we actually look over there, that's where all the uh, corpo exhibitors are. I don't know if we'll check that out, but maybe. We might walk over there just because why not. Well, let's check out all these smaller stalls first. Independent artists, always great to see them. Some really cool stuff. I love this booth because I think leatherworking is just such an awesome thing. Get some armor, a drinking horn. That's just really cool. And look at how cute these are. <laughs> I wish I could get the, the other one there as well. Who does it better? <laughs> right? Oh, actually, ah, now that is the perfect shot right there. Awesome. So many cute, like, stalls here on the tail end. I guess that's the pun, right? It's the tail end.
Wow. Did so I cute. Look, I Well, that's about it. So hopefully you enjoy that. I don't think we're going to check out the exhibition halls because it's just going to be corporate uh, garbage. Uh, support your local artists. Enjoy everything. See ya.